Can I stand on my own mine? I guess this is a good time to find out. Yes. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Gracie, and this is episode 6 of this Let's Play of Songs of Conquest. We're playing as the Baria, I've never played as them before, and we are currently sieging a city that belongs to Locutus. Now, I just saw his hero go somewhere. Um, I don't know how many forces he had, though. We were not close enough, and it was the off turn, so I don't know where he is. Are these bombs? Can, is this just a... Okay, these are just impassable and this is what an exploding barrel does this hurt you if you walk into the fire there's not enough information here what does this do was a 10 health barrel i don't know what's going on all right so if these guys are gonna go oh they don't go until after so i could oh i can't quite reach i'm gonna go here I can't, what? Oh, I ran out of movement. Is this difficult terrain or something? Why did I only get to move three spots? They only move three spots. Okay, my bad. I think I should go and hit this guy. Hit him before he gets a chance to get stronger. Slap. Ow, slap. I only killed 10 of my gunners. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I'm having trouble getting, getting through all the meat here. Get out of the way. Here we go. Let's just go up here. Slap these, slap these lizard men. All right, cool. So that's the city. Now, I don't know where Locutus' heroes went, though. Um, occupy, convert, convert it to your faction. Probably rather do that. And now I have to hold it while they, uh, while we undergo construction. Hopefully, Locutus doesn't come and kill me now that I'm vulnerable. I think I'm gonna have to have her come and draft her own troops because he only has four slots, so his his ferrying duties won't be super effective. All right, let's see if Locutus comes to try to get the city back. I lost 10 musketeers, but other than that, I'm pretty much the same strength level I was before. Well, where'd he go? Oh, does he have a, oh, maybe he went to the middle. Or, wait, where's that go? So th there's supposed to be another neutral city around here. So maybe it's like right here. And then there should be a city in the middle of the map. It looks like it's right here. So then there must be a connection between those as well. So unclear what he's working on right now. Okay. So we got 13,000 bucks. So quite a bit. So let's grab these. Um... Gunners. Oh, I can get the upgraded guys. I want to try those out. And then we'll get a few little Piper guys. And then it looks like we probably want to wait one more turn. Because that is not like a particularly large number of units. I can't click. Right. There we go. You are going to visit that.
I'm nervous. Where is he? Where are Lacutus's heroes? What are they doing? Come back here. Are you freaking me out? <laughs> it's way worse than fighting. So we'll get some pikes. One of those guys. One of those guys. And then I have enough money for two pipers. Okay, that's going to have to do it. Let's go fight. That's a simple fight. That's a risky fight. Well, risky is... that's I don't like hearing that. Let's do the easier one first. Get some experience. See if a level 10 skill is something really cool. Rats and cultists. So we can... We can just hide up on the high ground here. Oh, these are the guys that drop bombs. Which is pretty darn cool. The problem with the first strike on these guys is that actually... If you don't do enough damage, it actually makes the rats stronger because then they berserk, which is kind of funny to think about. I'll go up here, put my pike wall out. Put a bomb here. Okay, I've got Deadly range. These guys are in deadly range. I can kill the whole stack. Good lord. That is absurd. It's just absurd. Rally one. All friendly troops get defense, melee offense, melee range offense, and spell damage. So we get a little bit of defense. I mean, I am going to get hit kind of hard this turn. Let's use that. And then offense this guy. And then use the stakes. This is the Pipers? Yeah. Bonk. Can I put a bomb under them if they're... No. <laughs> this is worth a try. Ooh! They're gonna hit back... So four times 30 is 120. They could do a lot of damage. They could kill all of my units. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. Reloading. Minus 25% damage. There we go. Beautiful. One left. Yes. You got killed by the, uh, the opportunity, which goes first. The retaliation. Good stuff. Okay. Level 10. Range resistance. Order tier 2. Let's do that. So the only thing we unveiled is the stupid tree that you have to give... Glimmer weave too. If I had a source of glimmer weave, I would maybe be doing that. Ooh, it's the foundry. Oh, it looks cool. I don't have any money though, so. Oh, some of these. No, that's the yeah foundry. So these don't require cash. Glimmer weave, glimmer weave. Yeah, see, I have access to celestial ore, but it's only, it's only useful for these like. Plus one range to Hellbreath's Hell Roars, and plus one deadly range. What? That's. That's incredible. I really need to get into Hellbreath's. Um, I need a bunch of wood. I need 40 wood. I'm only getting three a turn, so I might start. I might start purchasing some slowly. Um, let me see if he left any out. There's a lumber camp down there. I don't see any lumber sitting around. I've already cleared those things out. Cleared that out. Yeah, okay, so I just have to wait or purchase it. Now you're a little bit beat up. These basic pipers? No, they're steam pipers.
send you back home, get 4,600 4, gold worth of reinforcements next turn. And this is, once again, this requires, yeah, the Glimmer Weave. I just, I'm not, I'm not willing to spend it on these trees. It's because I have so little. I have enough for, like, one upgrade. Let's look at the other one. The Merchant's Guild. So I can get stuff, like, more in a stack. I really wish there were more things that cost Celestial Ore. Celestial Ore seems to be for the, the most elite units in this faction. I don't know if that's always the case. What does this do? Chaos Essence. Simultaneous building construction I don't need. This would be 5,000 gold to get another Celestial Ore. So the price isn't going up. This would add another 200 gold a turn. I'm pretty precious on those resources, so I don't really want to do that. I think the ones I'd be most interested in increasing the stack size of would be something like the Musketeers, because anytime they get hit, they lose 25 to 50% of their whole stack, and then they're just like not doing as much. So if they had a bigger stack size, they could take losses and still be really effective. Dreeth's probably eventually, because I am purchasing... I do have a lot of Dreeth Dens. What's this cost? I don't want to save that wood, though. Um, okay. So no one's no one's mucking about. So we've got an upgraded workshop, uh, upgraded dens. We're not making Sassanids at all. Guard brutes. And then we can. I think I'd also like to have these. Because now they'll start being produced infinitely. So I think that's probably worth it. I spent a bunch of my money though. What do I need? I need. The artificers are pretty cool. Let's get like one more artificer. We don't need a lot of steam pipers. We need a few muskets. And then I'm going to grab pikes. And then we can grab one more of these. And then I might split these into two stacks for a little bit more versatility. And then let's go fight this fair fight. Met muskets, tinkers, and brutes. Okay, so these are like rebels of my own people here. Now there's a nice little... This is a fun map. So there's a, ni there's a, there's a lot of obstacles in this one. It makes for choke points where you've got just the one way in on either side here, and then there's two and two. So there's only like a handful of tiles you can use to get across the map, and everything is funneled towards right here and right here, which is really interesting. So let's see, these guys are fast. These guys are slow. Okay, gotta be careful. And my coffee. Let's make these guys move to get their shots. Oh, look at a different color scheme. That's cool. It's cool to see. Dreeths and the Tinkerers can go that way. I'll send the Pipers this way. I want to get in this guy's way, though. the rally. Ooh, tanky. Tanky motherfuckers. And that's giving out offense and, and range offense. Okay. Just don't really want to die here. But these, these muskets, 
they would melee me back. Now, they're only going to do three to five damage on the... Is that their... Um, gosh. Units. Baria. Units. Musketeers. How do I know what their... Range damage is. It's not this, is it? Or is they? that's what they do and they just do less? To, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Can I stand on my own mine? I guess this is a good time to find out. Yes. <laughs> I thought maybe the game would have pathed me around it. Uh, if I could step up. Oh my god, alright, fine. Um, uh, uh, mine. Good lord. You're like an idiot. 9 to 12. Die! Uh, die! Bam! Ah! Oh, <laughs> my tinkers did the same amount of damage to me as I did to the enemies this round. This is great. This is so good. Only gonna get one kill here. A kill a unit, that's 60 health. I also try to save up for like a fireball, which is 14 destruction, so I'll be there soon. It's really better for like a clump though. Where's the ice? Where's the ice? Am I crazy? Where's the ice? Arcane Storm. Tempest. Was it over here? Is it a combined spell? The hell is it? Tempest. Psychic Spear. Earth Block. Mist. It's right there. It's right there. It's not going to kill anyone. Maybe here. Target troop gets minus 50% damage. It's time to start bonking. Here, I'll put a little a little blood on this guy. Not in his deadly range. His pipers have an initiative of 25, initiative 31, so I can't. Um, two friendly troops. Oh, so if I do it twice. We'll go before him. This is a really bloody fight. Holy crap. Can, do I have a way to move him? Oh, oh, there's, there's, uh, here we go, troop movement. Okay, I was gonna buff this guy, but then his initiative would have been higher than this guy, and he would have been in his way. There we go, plus one troop movement. Get him. Bonk. This game is so good. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay, a little bloody. Obviously, I wasn't as... I'm exaggerating a little bit, but still. Level 11. Troops gained spell damage resistance. 
I think I'll, I think I'll grab that. That that tends to be pretty important once you start fighting the other players. I have some gold. I can go and pick up some more troops. I'm probably going to have to hang around for a little bit and just buy troops to... Um, so I can afford to go and like try to punch through something. Probably this. Probably want to grab onto this so I have the extra essence. So you are are not needed down here, bub. I think I should probably send you down here to loot and con take control of all this stuff that used to belong to Locutus, who has just disappeared. And I don't know where he is, and it's kind of scaring me because if I go this way and he's over here, then he takes the city back and vice versa. Um, so I need to grab onto all of this stuff. Now my income went way up. I don't know if this city is a mess. Like for instance, I don't need two foundries, I'm guessing. Unless it somehow reduces the price. But it doesn't look like it does. Let me pause and I'm gonna look and see if that's a thing. Okay, I just looked it up and I guess if you lose a city that has a research building, it turns that research off. So like if I lost my merchant's guild up in my capital, I would not have the celestial ore, I would not have this income, I would not have the destruction essence as well as troop improvement. So the only reason to have more than one is if you think you might lose it, but they don't actually do anything having multiple other than it's a safety net. So I am gonna go ahead and destroy this one. Just recover some of the, the uh, materials because I don't need another one. What is this? Guard tower. You have two guard towers. I mean, I guess I can leave two guard towers here for now. So I've got a shop. This is a sawmill. This is a mercenary quarters. Pikeneers. Veteran Pikeneers. What is this? What does this do? Sorry. This one is making. I I can't tell. It would be nice if this showed what I'm making per turn somewhere. Because I don't even know what I need to, like, five wood. Wood is the thing I'm trying to get, though, right now. I think I'll, I'll, I'll hold off on that. Now, these towers are going to produce ballista and defense troops over time. So I will, so I have a tier two, so I'll go up to a max garrison size of, I think, looks like 24 Pikeneers and 30 Musketeers. And then I'll, I should have two Ballista, or do I have to upgrade them? To upgrade it to get oh, even more, okay. Goodness, bizarre, I don't need two of these. So I might sell that one. And I can put another troop maker in there. Ooh, but which one? But which one? Maybe mercenary quarters. I'm not have one right here. Um, this upgrades if you have a stone pit. This upgrades if you have a sawmill. So I could do more tinkers since I have another sawmill here. And I do have a lot of celestial ore which uh, tinkers can be upgraded with that. So let's grab this. Okay, exciting. An almost max level city that I have looted. Now, as for the matter of where Locutus went, where are you hiding? I do need to go there. I think I need to s capture this first. My income is insane right now. This is amazing. This is really good. Let's just stand here. In case he bursts out of the fog out of nowhere and tries to take the city. I'll be in the way. You are trying to draft so you can go punch through over there. So oh, we can get the scarred brutes now. I don't have any regular brutes, but I don't want to use up a slot on them yet. Um. Hmm. 
I'll hold three more of those. Got some musket slots. Let's split them. I can hold pipers. I don't need more pipers. The tinkerers were a little bit disappointing if you don't have enough of them at once. So let's not do that. Ooh, it takes a uh, glimmer weave to buy the shadows. That's going to be a problem because that actually means each one of these guys costs 1750 because it cost me 750 bucks to get a single glimmer weave because uh, I don't generate it again. There's still a chance I'll find something, but it is getting kind of late game. Um, I can't afford a whole lot. I think I gotta wait another turn. Have you been to here? Bud, have you been here? Okay, whatever. There we go. Offense, defense, movement. Like 7,500 gold a turn. It's pretty, that's pretty good. Feeling a lot of forces with that. Let's go to this cairn. That'll be some kind of small, I think it's a permanent buff, right? Yeah, plus one offense and defense permanently. So we've got a bonus offense of 12 and 20, 24 for offense defense. Oh, he doesn't have his equipment anymore. I forgot I gave that away. So we own all of these production buildings. So I have him stop off here and then he'll go and explore. Oh, see, there's a city here and this is Locutus' other city because that's the dragon temple thing that we had right here. Okay, interesting. Grab those, grab those. Split them up. We can get a whole bunch of pipers, I think. Oh, I can also grab an entire stack of these guys. That's going to be more valuable, I think, than almost anything else. So there's there's slots for... Sorry, I'm out of those. No slots for theirs. No slot theirs. No slots for theirs. So let's just grab these last pipers, and then we're going to go off and try to capture this tower down here, which I can't tell what it is, but Arcana Spire. So that'll give you Arcana Essence in combat. Um, which is this one, which is kind of unfortunate because we don't really use that. But of course, there's a lot of things over here that are going to use it that will open up now that we'll have these three plus a, one of this. So we can possibly be some stuff in here like ethereal scales, uh, strength and essence, etc. that I wouldn't normally have. So it's not going to hurt. It's just not as good as like destruction or order would be for me. It's a risky fight. Let's do it. And uh, we'll have to... Actually, you know what? We have to do that on the next episode because we're all out of time, unfortunately. Dang. I want to play more. Hey, Scorpion. I love you. Okay. So let's end this episode here. On the next episode, we will uh, we'll be... When I pass turn, I'll be able to upgrade this city to maximum. And then I'm going to start working on the Hell Breaths, the big cannon things. And I have Celestial Ore income and that's going to let me do some interesting things with the hell breaths, like increase their range and stuff so that's going to be really fun it looks like i'm not going to be upgrading things with this very much because i don't have access to it so it's going to be very slow if i buy like individual pieces of it as i need it from the market but the celestial ore i can just i just get it over time i'm guessing that the hell breaths are going to cost celestial ore yes one celestial ore two celestial ore for those so that means we can buy one a turn with our current income wow okay so let's end this episode thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying this series please like and subscribe if you haven't already check the link in the description for my patreon for only three dollars a month you can support my channel and have double chances to show up in my games as enemies uh sometimes allies sometimes items things like that so thank you for watching and i hope i will see you in the next one